Hey guys, welcome to Craving for Baking. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make banana split cupcakes and these are half chocolate banana and half plain banana cupcakes inside of a cone topped with strawberry frosting and a little cherry on top. So to begin what you want to do is put in your bananas into a bowl and what I did because my bananas weren't ripe was I put them into the oven and left them there for about 20 minutes and then they come out really dark but sweet and kind of ripe but definitely if your bananas are ripe go ahead and use your ripe bananas because I'm pretty sure that makes it more authentic and more, much more sweet so for 450 grams of bananas I only needed two but make sure you measure your bananas you might need more than two or you might need less than two so I'm just going to mash up my bananas with a fork but of course you can use a food processor, a blender, anything you want. It depends on how fine you want your banana to be, whether you want it to be a puree or much more kind of with chunks inside. So I'm happy with mine how it looks here and what I'm going to do is add in my eggs and I'm going to be using two eggs. This time I'm not going to be mixing in between each addition just because I was kind of lazy but you can definitely mix this in between each addition. So what I'm going to do is mix that until it's really really nice and combined, everything must be incorporated, there must be no egg yolks that are not mixed in, nothing is left behind. So we are going to mix that, once it looks like this I'm going to go ahead and add in my vanilla extract, give that a really nice mix, make sure everything is incorporated. So now that it looks like this, I think we're good. We're gonna move on to a bigger bowl. Into this bowl, I'm going to be adding in my butter and I'm going to melt that in the microwave for about 15 seconds and then I'm going to mix that. So I'm gonna mix it until it's slightly lighter in color. It's not as yellow as it was before. And you don't want any clumps of butter there, so you wanna make sure it's nice and smooth. Once it's smooth, go ahead and add in your sugar. Mix that in really, really well. You don't want any sugar to not be mixed in. You want everything to be nice and combined. And once it is, it should look something like this. Now that we've got our butter and sugar combined, you want to add in your banana mixture. Go ahead and add this in and mix it and it will look curdled and kind of separated. They do not want to get along, but it's fine. Just add in your flour and your baking soda and your cornstarch. Fold that in using a spatula and once it's nicely folded, it should look very, very smooth and airy. If you think it's a bit thick, you can go ahead and add in about two tablespoons of milk. I thought mine was okay here, but I do think I could have added a little bit of milk, but you know what, it didn't matter in the end. So once it looks something like this, or a bit thinner, you wanna go ahead and separate your mixture. So I have chocolate in another bowl, and I'm going to be adding in half of my batter to this, but a little bit out at a time because we do wanna work with the less is more. So I'm going to add in a little bit and mix it in with the chocolate, then add in the rest and mix it in with the chocolate until I get a nice chocolatey batter. So now I have my ice cream cones laid out onto this baking tray. And inside of this, I'm going to be scooping in half of the plain banana cupcake batter and half of the chocolate banana batter and it's going to look something like this in the end and we will do that to all of our ice cream cones and stick that into the oven for 20 minutes at about 180 degrees celsius and once it looks something like this leave them to cool and you're done so now I don't really have the recipe for the frosting. If you would like a recipe for the frosting, go ahead and ask. But what I basically did was I got some icing from the store and I added in a little bit of strawberry flavoring and I mixed in a little bit of food coloring to make it kind of pink and white. And then 
I iced that onto my cupcakes and I topped it off with a cherry. So this is the finished result. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I have not been active and I'm very, very sorry, but I will try and get back into my routine. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys for my next video. Bye!